Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a text circle in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page, everything I'm going to show you is valid both on the edit page and on the fusion page. We're going to use a text plus to do that uh, and it's going to be the same thing on both. So right now I'm going to demonstrate with the text plus on the edit page, but obviously the parameter in the inspector are the same in fusion. So first I'm going to expand here uh, my inspector so you can see what's going on a bit more. I'm going to change the text here for DaVinci Resolve Circle, for example. I'm going to change the font for Montserrat and now we can go to Layout. And here, instead of Point, we're going to select Circle. And as you can see already, we're pretty much there. The text has been adapted to an invisible circle path. Now you can adjust the width of that path right here. So here we can increase it or we can reduce it. So it reducing the circle when we reduce it. So now we have a smaller circle and the text is wrapping all around or we can just extend it. And here the invisible circle became bigger and now it's not fully complete. So we will need more text to just go all around the circle, for example. Another thing that you could do if you want to complete the circle, but you don't have enough text, you can just go back to text and here you can raise the tracking and it's basically going to raise the space between each letter and that's going to complete your circle. Now, what if you don't want your text to go all around the circle, but to have some that is at the top and some that is at the bottom, but not upside down like this. So we're just going to double click on tracking to uh, stop that. Well, to do that, we're going to need to have two text plus because we cannot do that within only one. So I'm just going to select my text plus. If you're on Mac, hold option and then just drag your text plus. If you're on Windows, that's going to be alt. And I've basically duplicated my text plus. You can also just copy and paste and stack them on top of each other. Now I'm, I'm going to select my second one and I'm going to go over to layout and down here in rotation, I'm going to modify the Z axis and we're going to do minus 180, which is basically going to flip our text. So right now it's still completing our circle, but as you can see now it's flipped and it's upside down. So we're going to have to go to transform and here we're going to switch from character to line. We're going to go to rotation and here we're going to basically flip the line. So we're going to do minus 180 here on the Y axis. And then we're going to do minus 180 here on the X axis. As you can see now, we flipped the text on the other side of the invisible line. So the invisible line would be here. And basically we flip all that. But what it caused now is that the letter are more uh, tight with each other. Uh, there is less space between each of them and it's not exactly on a perfect alignment with the other text. So we're going to have to make a couple of modifications to solve that. To do that, we're going to have to play with the pivot. So here I'm going to just modify my pivot X to basically have the two texts on top of each other. So here we have the invisible line. One is outward and one is inward. So we're going to have to just make it so the line is basically crossing the text and not here in between the two texts. To do that here, I'm going to then increase the pivot Y and it's just going to overlay on top of the other text. And now we're basically on the same line. I'm just going to bring back the pivot X so they are on top of each other properly. But we can see that now there is still a spacing in between each letter that is missing. If I were trying to bring it back to the bottom, as you can see, there is a difference here in terms of uh, spacing between the I, the C, there is more spacing there than you have here. So to adjust that, we're going to have to change the tracking between uh, the letter. So I'm just going to bring it back here, overlaying the other text, and then we're going to switch from line to character. And here we're just going to adjust the spacing a little bit until here it's just kind of matching and it's about the same size. For most cases, you can just put the spacing at 1.06. And now we're going to switch it back to line and we're going to just bring the pivot down here on the X to zero. And now our text is perfectly aligned. You can now keyframe any animation you would like. So here you could do some right on animation, for example. You can do so opacity, size, or looping rotation, for example. I'll let you check out some tutorials and animation if you don't know how to do that. I'm just quickly going to show you how to rotate this one. So here, for example, I will just 
select the two texts and I'm going to create a new compound clip to merge them together. And now we can just uh, basically go at the beginning of the composition. I'm going to put here a first keyframe on the rotation angle. And then I'm going to go at the end of my composition. And here I'm going to just put 360 because I want a full rotation during that entire duration. I'm just going to add another keyframe right here. And now if we play it, as you can see, we have a rotation on the circle. Right now, the rotation is very fast because that's only five seconds, but just adapt that to the length of your composition. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.